Police take down, super cartel, said to be behind about a third of Europe's cocaine trade. Here's a summary of the article. Brussels, law enforcement authorities in six different countries have joined forces to take down a super cartel of drugs traffickers controlling about one third of the cocaine trade in Europe, the European Union Crime Agency said on Monday. Europol said 49 suspects have been arrested during the investigation, with the latest series of raids across Europe and the United Arab Emirates taking place between November 8 to 19. The agency said police forces involved in Operation Desert Light targeted both the command and control center and the logistical drugs trafficking infrastructure in Europe. Super cartel controlling one third of Europe's cocaine trade is taken down. The scale of cocaine importation into Europe under the suspect's control and command was massive, Europol said, adding that the suspects used encrypted communications to organize drugs shipments. Record amounts of cocaine are being seized in Europe. More than 214 tons of cocaine were seized in the region in 2020, a 6% increase from the previous year, and experts from the European Monitoring Center for Drugs and Drug Addiction believe that amount could reach 300 tons in 2022. This post received a score of 33,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The competition's margin just went up. In recent years, the amount of cocaine seized in Antwerp has skyrocketed. The harbor customs officer said the most worrisome part is that even though every year they seize exponentially more, the price of cocaine on the street is never affected, indicating that what is seized is only the tip of the cocaine iceberg. I would believe it. Narcos is a fascinating dramatization of the cocaine trade. There's an even better program on Netflix called Something Like the Business of Drugs. It takes a very good look at the entire economic operation of different illicit drugs. The one on cocaine was fascinating. Greater than there's an even better program on Netflix called something like The Business of Drugs Possibly Thinking of Drugs, Inc. It's definitely business of drugs. This reminds me about how the police and customs of Sweden estimated that they confiscated 20% of the illegal drugs circulated in Sweden. This was touted as evidence that Sweden's strict drug laws were working, and that the drug-free society was within our grasp. Then the EncroChat hack happened, and it turned out the amount of illegal drugs circulated was 10 times higher than the authorities had estimated. Amazingly, this led to no national debate about whether Sweden's drug policy was working. A while back I heard about a speedboat off Miami that the DIA seized with a billion dollars of cocaine, at a time when the DIA estimated the US annual cocaine market was $50 billion two options. Either a whole week's supply of coke for the entire country was on one speedboat, or the DIA is wildly underestimating drug use to make their seizures look like a higher percentage. It's actually crazy how common cocaine use is. I go to a fairly well-known party college on the West Coast. Probably one of the biggest realizations after moving away from home was how widespread drug usage, especially cocaine, is. Although I've also noticed it only is really popular in certain groups. Great. More inflation. Funny enough, coca. Ne is the only thing so far not affected by inflation. It was always priced in. Ha ha ha, I love the idea of street-level dealers factoring in inflation months ahead of every investment bank analyst. They just need to ask their customers what they're working on and they'll probably get all the info they need winking face. I'm just trying to find a Brexit benefit. Just in time for Comaco. I'll keep waiting for Tamako. Tastes like grandma. It does taste like grandma. New. Not my nose beers. Rips. Reps. And revelations. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.